Hello Aries, I'm Susie from The Gift 202 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 31st of January, which is the first week of February. So, Angel, Spirit, Guides, Universe, what would you like Aries to know about the first week of February? The first week of February for Aries, 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 Aries. What would you like Aries to know about the first week of February for Aries, please? Angel, Spirit, Guides, Universe. What would you like? What are the energies for Aries for the first week of February? Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries, first week of February for Aries, please. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Aries to know about the first week of February? Okay, step out of that sort of card. She looks upside down, so Aries for the first week of February, please. What are the energies for Aries? What would you like to tell us about Aries for this week? What are these What's the information from the universe for Aries for the week of the 1st of February, the first week of February, please? Angels, first week of February for Aries, please. Angels, spirit, which universe, what do you like Aries to know about the first week of February for Aries? First week of February for Aries, please. Angels, spirit guides. One more, please. Aries, 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 Aries. All right, Aries, we have the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles here. New uprush of feeling. Um, it's the heart, it's the home, it's emotional. But someone's offering love or you're offering love to someone. On top of that, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is the family security. Um, so it could be an inheritance towards the home. It could be a lottery win. It could, because I'm seeing, actually, there is, it, there's some kind of abundance coming in this week. And for you, Aries, and you're going to be harvesting this abundance because the Empress here doubled with the Ten of Pentacles. It's a lot. So that makes me very happy. <laughs> you're harvesting in this win, this abundance. Someone wants to offer you love and security. Uh, it could be an inheritance. It could be just, you know, uh, it's money not as a result of your activity. Let's put it that way. Uh, you might have to be a bit secretive about this win or this abundance, Aries, because um, someone could be sneaking around looking at you thinking she's got it all. Why she got all of this? I'm a little bit jealous. I don't trust myself enough. This king of cups, it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um and they're with the king of cups upside down they like a drink and you've also got the moon here this person could confuse you um because they've got they don't trust themselves enough they're not very honest um i'm seeing with the seven of swords and the king of cups so someone could be lying something could be exposed uh in the, the beginnings of this week um and that could make someone feel ungrounded, unearthed, with no money. It's like he's angry. This this earth sign's angry because of this someone sneaking lie. You could be dealing with two people. They are kings. They are they're not young energies. Uh, the king of cups doesn't trust anybody. He if he was upright, it'd be a counselor. And someone wants to help you. You need to be a little bit wary of this person because they they like they like to have a drink and with the moon there they could get angry when they drink and become the king of pentacles upside down because they've got no money um this inheritance or this family money could anger someone so i feel that you need to be a bit quiet about it you might not get full clarity with that moon there until a month of the moon okay so the next new moon or the next full moon so it's a month of the moon uh because you, it's emotional confusion here someone could be sneaking around because they see you with everything you're abundant you're so abundant and you must why well, you might don't don't brag about it aries because it could upset people And make them angry that they don't have what you've got. So that and that could block a, a choice. There's no choice here in a in, in a path. And it's like there's no choice in love either. That could be a good thing. 
but love is upside down. The choice of love is upside down because this person's too angry. Uh, they don't feel good enough. Um, so you just sort of think, well, okay, I'll just work on myself then. <laughs> you've got to drop the burden. There's some burden up here. Right, you've got everything, you've got the fleece, you've got the money, you're sitting on the trunk of the treasure chest, but you're on a desert island and you, you've lit these wands, these passionate wands. And the seven of wands as well, there's this fight, there's this battle of wills up here. People want your platform. But you don't understand because you're just doing you. You're just doing your own thing, working really hard. The thing is with that, you don't understand how much or people don't understand how much work you've done to actually get to the platform of the Seven of Wands. You've had to go past this dragon. Where is it? The dragon in the five. Fight the dragon. Get to the accolade of the village and then guard your position and say, well, you know, your name's not down. You're not coming in. <laughs> You do drop some of this burden, but you don't allow people to undermine you at the end of this week. It's like, I want love, and, and, and I also want security. And I feel abundant that way. I feel like the empress that way. But if you're going to sneak around, tell lies, have secrets... Um, not not be earthed and grounded in your own self, then there's I can't make a choice here. There's no there is no choice. I'm gonna have to just not choose love. I'm gonna have to choose myself. Work on my own coin. Live with my burden. Drop some of it, hopefully, to be on on your platform, and that's it. What else can you do? What else can you do? I don't know. Let's ask the love. It's going to take a month to sort this out. Angel, spirit, God, universe, what would you like Aries to know? Unless these people man up, unless they twist up, up and become the counsellor, the lover, the expression of love, there's no expression of love here. So everyone's kept in the dark. Unearthed, ungrounded. There's, no, there's nothing solid to hold on to. You've got this win here, you've got this home, you've got this security here, some kind of security, some kind of money, and you're harvesting your abundance. And the Empress does not go to anybody, Aries, she stays where she is. So, you know, someone could be sneaking around thinking, why have you got all this stuff? I can't make a choice in love because Aries is working on their own and just doing them. But what... <laughs> There's no offer. Angel spirit guides, what would you like Aries to know about the week of the first of February? The week of the first of the third of this January. The first week of February for Aries, please. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. Angel spirit guides, universe. What would you like Aries to know about the week of the first week of February? That's a lot of cards, but we'll take this one. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yes. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Right. So... Someone's wearing a full self mask. See, I'm caught between those seven and ones, that ten and that seven up there. That maybe, Aries, you might need, you unburden some of these things, but you're guarded up here on your platform. Maybe this person feels that you're too controlling or that you're too up there. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I don't know what you're supposed to do. It, 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 like There is no choice. There's no path to choose. But what are you supposed to choose when the two masculine energies or this one masculine energy doesn't represent... That's what I would say. It could be an earth sign or a water sign. They're not emotional enough and they're not grounded enough. Um, so you're just doing you. 
That's it. So let's ask the angels, maybe we'll get more clarity here. What would you like Aries to know about? But there's a win here, there's abundance. There is an offer of new love. Um, just let it flow. Let's see what happens. Love. There's free yourself. This was in the angel cards. Did you see that? It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Let go of control issues as regard to other people. But you take back control of you because this confusion is because someone is un they're not earthed, they're not grounded, and they're angry, they're very angry, and they they're because they're not making a choice in love, they're not choosing anything, they're not choosing love in love. So all you can do is keep working away, let go of the burden of, of everyone's dramas, and stay up there. This is a battle of wills, okay? So you know that when you don't... <laughs> oh, God. Listen, if there's cross-watchers, don't play an Aries because the Aries is Mars. They're warrior. They play to win. That's it. It's a losing battle. Stay up there, Aries. Be the Empress, because that's who you are. Let's ask the angels what they'd like Aries to know about the first week of February. I've just empowered myself with my own Aries reading. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Aries to know? All right, this is a lot. What do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you are ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. See? When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath or pedicure. And beloved one, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. And compassion soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved including yourself people just are representing they need to do a little bit more work I'm, I'm, I'm guessing stop drinking mr. water sign and um, stop being angry mr. earth sign <laughs> can't there's no choice there's no choice but you uh aries i feel both ways you for yourself and you for these people so free yourself it's time to take back control of your life hope i've helped you aries take care and i'll speak to you soon please like share and subscribe thanks